What if I tell you that you have never touched anything in your life? Well, most people would not believe this statement as we think we are touching things all the time. For instance, if you are watching this video through a mobile that you are holding in your hands then you thinking you are touching it. But are you really touching it? Well, technically according to physics, you have not touched anything in your life. But first, let's define touch or what exactly we mean when we say we have touched something. Usually, when something comes in physical contact with something else, this is called touching. For example, when you press the button on the keyboard of your computer, or when you open a door, you would say that you have touched it. But the amazing part of the scene begins when we start thinking at the quantum level. As we know that everything around us is made up of matter and matter is as composed of tiny particles, which we call atoms. An atom is further composed of a nucleus, which consists of positively charged protons and electrically neutral neutrons, and negatively charged electrons that revolve around the nucleus. So, at such a microscopic level, touch will be defined as the physical contact of the atoms of one thing with the atoms of another thing. Now imagine, you are going to press the button on your keyboard. The button as well as your finger are made up of some species of atoms. But according to Pauli's exclusion principle two or more quantum particles, in this case, electrons, can't occupy the same space. So when you press the button of the keyboard, the negatively charged electrons of your finger, exert the force of repulsion on the negatively charged electrons of the button. Due to this force of repulsion, you get the feeling of touch. Though it may seem that your finger has touched the button, it is still nanometers away from the button. So we never touch anything in our life we only get the illusion of the touch.